Speedrunning, something that people spend months, sometimes years, trying to perfect their craft in a certain game they're playing, trying to beat it in the fastest time possible. With years of research going into each of these runs, if it's Super Mario 64 with the meep skip, or even Minecraft and how people are able to triangulate where the dungeon will be, these people practice for days and days on end just to get close to the title of first place, with them increasing their skills while they keep playing for hours and hours, with the top of the top in a category spending years of their lives trying to hold on to that title. You also have those that just speedrun anything, if it's someone like Small Ant for example, just speedrunning random games or doing fun challenges, those also count as speedruns. But this video isn't about how or why these speedrunners are great, no. Today we will look at some of the slowest speedruns to ever exist, and the last one I have no clue why or how someone did that, but I don't think it will ever be broken with someone else trying to break it and him just being a couple of days off. That's right, not, not hours, not minutes, but days. Now yes, you can name me a lot of games that take forever to beat. Like for example, Breath of the Wild took me like 100 hours to beat, but that was just because I wasn't trying to beat it right away. These runs kinda are, with some of the slowest times coming from Super Mario 64, with the run coming in at 16 hours and 32 minutes, with Andrik the Bear coming in at the bottom of the list of these runs, with him just playing Super Mario 64 as anyone else would. And I'm sure there are probably runs that are way longer, but these will be according to speedrun.com. But this run was just a run where he tried to beat Mario 64 as fast as he could, without knowing the strategies and without really knowing much of the game. So for these first couple runs I'll talk about, it really is just people playing these games. Then another Super Mario 64 run coming in at 18 hours and 27 minutes, adding an extra 2 hours, with them saying it's a blind attempt, but he's using a VTuber thingy. So I don't know if that's true or not, because how would you be able to tell if there's a blindfold on him if he's using the VTuber thingy? So clearly he's just lying and he's clearly this was just clickbait, obviously. Anywho, with these two Super Mario runs behind, under a day, it's time to get to the juicy speed runs that are more than a day long. That sentence makes no sense. Well, the submitted run for SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini and Bottom coming in at one day and 33 minutes for a man named Poke Boy Goomba. But there's sadly being no evidence of this run except for the fact that it's on speedrun.com. So I'm just gonna assume he did another blindfolded run. No, I know, blind run means he's never like looked at the game before i know what a blind run means i'm just trying to be funny i've never been into this game too for any spongebob games except for the fact that i do know there was one skip where you needed the disc to be super dirty so people would like rub their fingers on the disc and then like slide it into the game cartridge and they would only be able to complete the skip with a dirty disc then the next game that would be on this list would be minecraft with me having a minecraft video talking about how it was beaten in under 10 minutes, which you should definitely go check out. Now with there being different versions to a Minecraft speedrun, with this one being under the full achievements category. With Minecraft already taking forever, like when I played on my Xbox 360 world, like I don't think I killed the Ender Dragon until like months after that world being a thing. But anyways, this run was done by God Apple, with it coming in at a day and 10 hours and 51 minutes. With the full achievement world record being 2 hours and 44 minutes, to begin with, this category does take a very long time, so honestly, I don't even blame the game. Then, we got more known speedrunner in here, and that would be Small Ant, with 2 days and 20 hours of Breath of the Wild speedrun. Now yes, 9 hours of it was him sleeping, with it being under the 100% category, meaning he has to complete all the challenges, find all those fairy thingies, beat every shrine, with again, Breath of the Wild taking me forever to beat normally, and I didn't even 100% the game. No way you're gonna catch me collecting all those little, like, fairy people thingies, I forget what they're called. So, these ones are all understandable, they just took them some time and went in not knowing much about the game, and all of them are at the lowest points of the leaderboard. So now that you know what it takes to get a run over a day, it's time to talk about runs that are world records and take longer than a week. That's right, a week. Now with what we've talked about so far, these are tasks that any human could pull off. If it's playing Zelda for two days, and you take a nap while playing it, Anybody could do that, you could be saying to yourself right now. So now it's time to talk about the longest world records, starting with the users The Book 92, Sheeny the Gee, Another Car Guy, and Feathers 51564, with all four of them taking turns playing Gran Turismo 4 on the PS2. I took them a total of 230 hours, or 9 days and 14 hours, with the run being another 100%, and it also being the only 100% run to be submitted onto speedrun.com. With the four of them all taking turns, playing for around 4 hours at a time, 
with them not only having to complete every race in the game, but the reason of why it took so long was they had to beat every race track with every car. With yes, this being a team of four people, it is still very impressive because most of these runs, they need food breaks and sleep, but because it was four of them, it went to show that this really is one of the fastest times to beat the game, with no breaks because they would just switch people. So a one person run could never come close to this timer at all. Now, this run taking 9 days and 14 hours with it being done by 4 people. Before we move on to more world records that take longer than 2 weeks, I just need to mention this one Minecraft run I saw. This run was done by a man named Sapphire, with it being the slowest 1.16 plus speedrun to ever exist. With the one man playing Minecraft straight for 14 days and 2 hours, that being 338 hours of just pure Minecraft in a row. Now, why would he do something like this? Clearly, it wasn't a blind run, and it does not take that long to beat Minecraft, even if you are new. Well, let's just read what he wrote in the description of his run. I'm going to be the best slow runner. People would say a 300 plus hour run is dedication, but reviewing a run that's over 300 hours is the true dedication. Send the moderator everything you can because of I've, I have all respect to the Chad that accepted this run. To the next person to get longer run? Just why? I did this because I wanted to prove I get no bitches. It really is just poetic. The tears coming out of my eyes right now. Sadly, I did see this run a couple months before, and he had all the YouTube videos up, but the playlist is now gone. I don't know why he did that. And he even made a little trailer for it, but can't find that either. But it's on speedrun.com, and that's all I need. Anyways, we'll be now looking at runs that took about two whole weeks to complete. We talked about Zelda before and how it takes just a very long time to beat it, but with this run not coming in from a mainline Zelda game, but a spinoff, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, with the world record coming in at just under 2 weeks, being 12 days and 58 minutes. But with the second place run, which was the world record for about a year, being 23 days, 12 hours, and 51 minutes, coming in at 564 hours. With the now world record, of course, cleaning up a lot of the mistakes he made, with the speedrun being a 100%, getting every character, killing all the bosses, and of course, finishing the story, with the game consisting of mainly just slashing up massive hordes of enemies. Personally, I couldn't even bring myself to 100% Breath of the Wild, so never mind a game like this, I have no clue how you could just play this game for the amount of days these people do, it's just crazy. Especially 23 days straight with of course eating and sleeping, but still that is crazy, like what? Then with the next run, I'll be talking about being done by a man named hyphen underscore M, coming in at 14 days and one hour, also being 337 hours. Just under the Minecraft guy, but with a clear difference, this run is number one, not the last place run. And unlike the Gran Turismo run, this was done by one man, and there are multiple submissions in this category, with of course recording here being around 6 others, with the slowest and first run in Baton Kato's Eternal Wings in the Lost Ocean, god damn that's such a long ass title, they couldn't have thought of anything else. Anyways, it was done by D. Joel Polby, I don't know how to read names, coming in at 16 days and 7 hours, that being 2.5 days difference away from the world record with again being under the 100% category, with this game being a role playing type game for the GameCube, with it being based around a card type battles with you collecting items throughout the world and then turning those in game items into cards and it being turn based action style game. With of course going through the battles, the stories and all the collectibles, a game that is meant to be enjoyed for months then being beaten in just over 2 weeks. With one difference between these speedruns and let's say a 0 star Mario run. You can really spend a lot of time on just certain parts of a run and learning all of the parts to perfection, but when it comes to a run over 2 weeks, you really just can't and you just have to try your best and it becomes less of a mechanical skill and more of a knowledge skill. During the speedrun with instead of learning all these jumps in Mario, it becomes what is the fastest route from this to this. And for sure, still mechanics are involved and you know, it's just the fact that you can't really perfect them. and. Each and every movement in a run this long unless you spend every waking moment playing that single game which i don't think anyone in this world would do because first off why second off you would just get bored like if you played a game for that long you would get bored i don't know how you couldn't you just will with us now closing in on the video and coming to the longest speed run that i was able to find on speedrun.com it coming from a game that many people have played or at least heard of old school runescape with the run being posted 7 months ago and it being a speedrun to obtain a max cape. 
The run being done by Heebox Jong coming in at one month, two days, and three hours. A total of 795 hours, close to 800 hours, with this run only being at the top for the reason that, of course, he did not play the game straight for 800 hours. That would be impossible. But it being more of a dedication. With him saying how he did log out and he let his account level up on its own. But still, the knowledge of knowing what to do, and yes, he did log out, but he would still play for hundreds of hours, putting in the research, having that knowledge, and it, and being fully committed to just the game for more than a month straight is crazy. Yes, you have pros in these speedrunners who will play their games for months straight, but they take breaks. They do not play 24-7 every day. This guy did, and it all being able to obtain one item the fastest way he could. Of course, a 100% run for RuneScape would maybe be possible, I don't know, I don't know that much about the game, or how much time it would take, or again, if it's even possible to 100% RuneScape, I don't know, I'm not that knowledgeable in the game, so let me know in the comments if you even could, but still, this run and this man are just absolutely insane for this. With all of these runs being super impressive, something I could never do, maybe that one Minecraft one I could, maybe. Anyways. Personally, I think most people agree with me because you see more runs and views in categories that are not super long. But these long runs, like the RuneScape one, to me they are impressive, but to be honest, it's mainly just because of the amount of time they took. Like, I look at the world record for the Minecraft full achievement run, and that is still much more impressive to me than an 800 hour run. Or like a full star run in Super Mario 64, with you needing both the mechanical skill and all of that knowledge to be able to pull off a good run in that category. With these super long speedruns being more of a fun, one-time thing to do, speedrunning is trying to beat something as fast as possible, with perfecting your skills in that certain category. And with runs that are more than just a day, you can't really do that. Unless again, like the, the Gran Turismo run with the four people, I think you could 100% push a game to its limits like that, but for one person, you can't really, which is what I think speedrunning really is. But at the end of the day, none of these beat my COD speedrun, obviously, go watch that. And uh, yeah. Have a good day or night, or both. Thanks for watching.